What's happening everybody? Tech K8 now. Forgive me for the whole dimming and the reddish look in the camera, but I, I mean, I'm just doing my best here. Well, I want to give a little step-by-step -step somewhat of Windows 8 because I installed it the other day and I just want to kind of go through things and kind of go through that um that application for, what is it called, Xbox Smart Glass and kind of show you how it, work, it works really well. I thought it would be some lag to it, but it works pretty good and pretty well. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these little features and some of the things I've kind of discovered. I'm still going through it. You know, I just started the other day, so let's just take a little walk around. And if you, the developer, uh, you know, the developer walkthrough was pretty much the same thing, but the Xbox Smart Glass, I think, works pretty well because, see, it, like it's connecting to the Xbox now and just. What I found that it works out pretty well because I thought it'd be some little sluggish parts where it kind of drags and lags through the whole process. But when it does, see, it comes up pretty well, and like your games will come up, and you'll go across. You come across music videos and things like that, and you can easily just like I was if I want to play Resident Evil Six, see how it says explore game, play game on Xbox 360. So I will hit this button. And the game will come up on the Xbox. And sorry, I don't have another camera to kind of shoot that. But if it comes up, it tells you if you want to play that now. Or you want to go back and things like that. So you can just easily just set things up from your computer using this Smart Glass app. Now, they're also going to have the Smart Glass app for the, the Windows RT and I think the Windows Pro 8. Uh, surface tablet so you can easily just be watching a movie or get ready to play a game with your surfing and just kind of swipe up and just wow I'm really dim right here I don't understand that but I guess it's catching the camera that's all you know what I mean catching the little the apps and everything and like I said if you have like their music service from the Zoom or their video service and things like that from Zoom you can easily just swipe one up you know and just watch a movie and you know, things like that so and I'm not using a touch screen so this is pretty much some of the gestures and things that you can do like if you come down to the bottom left hand corner it brings up you know the last app you use or and things like that if you go up to this one you can switch between apps and if you come down to this bottom right hand side then your little screen over here will come up I think I forgot what they call this little slot but you know I forgot what they call it but you know I forgot the name oh well and then you hit the traditional desktop and things like that, you know, but you, like I said, you come down to the bottom left, tap that, and you go right back to, you know, in the App Store, you know, it just came out, so they probably, I heard they had like 3,600 apps, like, it just it just shipped out, so, you know, I mean, 3,600 is pretty good for certain people, but for me, it had the two apps I mostly wanted, was Netflix and Hulu Plus, I can always manage and hang, I, I mean, and wait some time until, you know, some other more apps come but since you got Netflix and Hulu Plus ready to go that's good with me and I have to say I do like how the apps are designed for Windows 8 on here because they really I really like how they set them up because it's more it's like more is on the screen you see more of your instant queue or all the new releases and things like that so I really like what they did because if you go to your instant queue everything's here like you ain't gotta scroll on down all the way down here or roll down it's all right there on the screen and I really like that and also you go in there it shows you all the new releases like popular on Netflix critically acclaimed dark horrors and things like that and like everything is like done really well and I mean Netflix you know this is an everyday thing with Netflix I love it I always use it so this is good for me and I really enjoy that and like I said, you come down here and you see your little app right here. And you open it up and you slide it like, like that. And you come over here. And I forgot, I think they call this the snap feature. And I like it. So, and the Hulu, where's the Hulu? I have Hulu Plus here. Well, I guess I don't. Well, I guess I have to get it. Hmm, huh. there's a hundred already. 
Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Just didn't know. Because it didn't say Hulu Plus, it just had a video on it. So, and the Hulu Plus app is pretty much the same. And, you know, the shows that's in your queue, the popular shows and all that stuff like that. And, I must say, And you hit the seasons and all the stuff. The seasons will be right here. And like I said, it's it works really well. I like it. I like the whole new setup of it. And I can't really complain now. When I get my hands on the Windows 8 Pro Surface Tablet, I'm really going to show you how the uh, Smart Glass app works from computer to the um, tablet to the Xbox 360. And just, like I said, it's real nice features. It's kind of like what Apple has done with the... Um, Apple TV and that AirPlay technology. It's kind of the similar same situation, but only an advantage that the Xbox would have because they because Microsoft would have because of the Xbox. And like I said, sometimes you might be watching a movie on your tablet and you just want to swipe it up to your Xbox. It's pretty much the same thing. But like like I said, the only advantage that Microsoft would have because it's the Xbox 360, so you can easily play your game, switch between your games and things like that, you know. And it really works pretty well from what they have done here. Now, like I said, there's only 3,600 apps from what I've been told. I haven't really counted. I'm not going to go through that. So, if your app, if you really like a lot of apps, so I say wait about maybe six months, maybe a year. And then just, you know, then get Windows 8 Pro or whatever, you, whatever if you're going to get a new computer, a Windows computer, it's going to come with it. So, you just pretty much... Either way you look at it, you're going to have to wait for some apps. And it's just going to have to take some time and everything to catch up. Like anything, you know, when the iPhone came out, the apps had to catch up to the phone. When Android started to come out with their tablets and things like that, the apps had to catch up to them. So it's going to be a little waiting process, as they say. So I just wanted to give you a little quick glimpse of some of the things I've covered so far. But if I learn, if I find any more um, features and gestures, anything, anything else that kind of... I haven't seen before, I haven't mentioned, I'll make another video, and I'll see you guys next time.